Hey loves, this is Jay from Jay Young Healing, and this is going to be a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020. Guys, I'm going to say right off the bat, be sure to like this video, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I would greatly appreciate your subscription as well, okay? Thank you all in advance for your love and support, and we're going to hop right in for Scorpio's reading for May 2020, okay? Overall energy, overall energy for... Scorpio. Overall energy for Scorpio for the month of May. Okay, Akasha is the card. Your guidance is divinely guided. Your guidance is divinely guided. And I also pulled the page of water that I pre pulled. Um, the page of water in intuitive okay sensitive artistic friendly okay this could be a new person that's entering your life this could be relationships begins a new phase or this could be about a high heightened psychic abilities and i feel like again the the vice the guide your guidance is divinely guided which means which lets me know that some of you are really tapping into your abilities your intuitive faculties your highest intuitive faculties to really open up um life okay something that maybe some of you've been lacking when i say lacking like like lacking living life to its fullest okay so this overall energy is about knowing that the guidance that you're getting is exactly what you need in order to move forward okay um and i'm also picking up a as above so below kind of energy um as i'm looking at two different worlds here so i feel like some of you are you know you could be manifesting whether that manifesting is good, bad, or indifferent, what you're thinking about, you're actually creating into your reality. So being, you know, being more cognizant of what it is that you're putting your focus and your energy and your time into so that you can create something magical for yourself, whatever that looks like. So if you're thinking negative, there's a lot of self-talk, negative self-talk going on. You want to make sure that you change that, okay? Because I always say what you think about turns into things, okay, which that means is the things that you think about begin comes a vibration uh, becomes a vibration and that vibration turns into what meant you manifest into your physical world okay so be sure that you're manifesting and thinking of exactly what it is that you're wanting okay wanting to bring into your life all right so let's get some advice for you scorpio for the month of may 2020 Advice for my Scorpios out there. Crown Chakra. Okay. Let's pull another advice card for you from the Universal Notes. All there is to love has been there all along. Okay. So this is your advice. Working on your crown chakra this month, really opening up to that divine guidance, okay? Really tapping into your in intuition, being, you know, artistic as well. You can do that through artistry. Um, you can, you know, do this by connecting with other people, however it works for you. So crown chakra and all there is to love has been there all along. When you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown, okay? And I feel like it's because you are opening up that crown chakra, you're listening to the divine guidance that is there for you. Let's pull some tarot for you. The bottom of the deck wow okay scorpio 
your energy, Ace of Cups, Pisces, or Cancer energy. Okay, some of you could be dealing with another water sign. You could be also dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn as well. Possibly a Gemini. Okay, so this Ace of Cups here lets me know that there's a new beginning that's happening. Okay, there's this could be a new relationship. This could be new love for some of you. This could be, you know, a creative endeavor that you're, you know, now opening up to, or this is about self-compassion for some of you. New feelings, spirituality, intuition, and it feels like this reading has been about intuition, you really opening up to that aspect of yourself there. I have the Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of, the Eight of Wands, and the Lover's card, okay? So I feel like um, we, some of you are dealing with a person here um, with this, you know, with this Ace of Cups that I pulled here, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I feel like there's an energy of they're feeling like some sort of conflict or maybe some of you have like some sort or you're feeling some sort of conflict internally about this person. The Page of Wands, some of you could be dealing with, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who, um, you know, male this could be female page of wands is a female energy here but i feel like you know she is someone who you know settles down late in life they want to go out she wants to go out and explore the world she wants to you know do exciting things she wants to travel the world she wants to um just be active you know she could also come off as an impulsive you know impulsive person but this would also be pertaining to some of you going through some sort of transformation right now some sort of spiritual awakening for some of you but i feel like you know this could definitely be a person or this could be a situation where you're opening up to something new and really coming into your own spiritually but i do feel like there is something that's going on this might be going on in your environment where it feels like a lot of things are chaotic around you but i feel like with this page of wands this there is a new energy that's going to be um coming in or new a new a message of some sort that could be coming in for some of you some of you could also be traveling because this is a, a card of travel but with the ace of pentacles here i feel like somebody's going to give you some news and offer you something offer you whether this is a hand in marriage offer you a hand financially offering you a career however this pertains to you make it fit how it fits but I do feel like this could be happening for some of you virtually. This could be online dating for someone. You're just communicating with someone via the web. And I feel like um, there's this, there, there's a connection, but there's also, you're not clear. I feel like there's, I feel, and I'm saying not clear because the lover's card is coming in reverse, which I'm actually going to um, clarify that. But with that lover's card there, that energy of it coming in reverse is about you focusing on self-love, okay? And maybe some of you are not, don't want to make a decision right at this moment, okay? With whoever this person is, you might be feeling like there's some sort of misalignment or something, or you're just indecisive about this, or some of you could be coming out of another relationship, but you're feeling like there could be some conflict there. But I do feel like someone... Um, Whoever this person is you're dealing with, you're in a new relationship with, or you're, you know, you're starting something new with someone or doing something, there's a bit of chaos going on, like a, you know, some sort of, this could be change, or you're feeling like you're in the middle of something. Um, but I do feel like some clarity comes in with this page of wands here, or this person comes in and offers you a hand in this matter whatever this is, or it offers you a hand in to be their partner. But I do feel like there's a possibility that this, some of this can, this could happen really, really fast for some of you. And it may make you feel like you need to take sudden action um, for this change that's going to be occurring, you know, but I feel like if you're not in alignment with it, this is why you're using your crown chakra. This is why you're tuning into your, um, your divine guidance here as your overall energy and your advice is to really focus on what am I feeling intuitively about this situation, okay? So I want to clarify this whoever's card for you.
Oh, wow. Yeah, Scorpio. Okay. So the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and then the Ace of Wands here, clarifying this Lover's card here in reverse. So for some of you, maybe this is a relationship that you have been working at, or maybe you've been working at yourself. You've been working on yourself um, during this process, and it, maybe just things are feeling a bit chaotic, okay? And I say I, I keep feeling the chaos in the environment because that five of the five of wands is here. But I do feel like you've been working and working and working at something and you know you've been tested, you've been you've persevered, you know, you have, you know, overcome a lot of things. And now you're for some of you, you could be wanting something new with this ace of um ace of wands, or there's a maybe somebody else is inspiring you with that ace of wands there. Okay, maybe um, you're creating something new, or again, this could be um, someone who has potential and desire, or you have desire for. So the story kind of goes back and forth, the scenario, because maybe for some of you, this is someone you're already dealing with, and for some of you, this is a new relationship, because remember, we pulled the Ace of Wands here, so that's telling me it's new, and also, I mean, the Ace of Cups, and then we also have the Ace of Wands, so there's, and then we have, oh boy, the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a lot of new energy here for you guys. So this could possibly be a new relationship, a new financial opportunity for some of you. But again, getting out yourself out of this chaos, okay? Getting yourself out of this chaotic environment some of you might be in so that you could really hear the messages coming through. Because if there's a lot of distractions that are happening around you, you can't hear clearly. And I'm not just talking about with your ear, I'm talking about with your inner ear. Okay, so this crown chakra is wanting to it's focusing on this this month is going to help you open up that inner ear so that you can hear the, the messages that you need to hear. Okay, so that you can be connected to your higher self and what's good for you, because all of this ace energy here is saying like there's new beginnings, there's new love, there's new, you know, career opportunities, new financial opportunities with someone. Okay, so I feel like this news come in and it changes it changes things rather quickly. Okay, but then I feel like there's a bit of disharmony between you and someone, or maybe that's you not feeling something, or you're trying to work on um, self-love um, and understanding that everything that's happening to you, excuse me, everything that's happening to you is for you and for your highest good and for the highest good of whoever benefits from that. Okay, so there's a lot of good, juicy energy on the horizon for you. Remember to work on your crown chakra this month and know that all there is to love has been there all along, okay? So that has been here all along for you, okay? And let's get the outcome for you, Scorpio. Outcome for Scorpio. Time to go and see only love. Okay, time to go, see only love. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. How amazing how that ties into your reading. It's about you loving, loving self, accepting love, and leaving behind what no longer serves you, leaving behind this chaotic environment that's preventing you from seeing and feeling and knowing what your truth is, okay? All right, Scorpio, hope you all enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification, and I'll be back with your mid-month readings, okay, guys? Many blessings and love and light. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.